Here at America's Test Kitchen, we've cooked anything and everything, but one thing we haven't done is cook in space. Well, lucky for us, we know an expert who's done just that. Joining us aboard the International Space Station, 200 miles above Earth, is NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur. Megan, hello from Earth. So tell us, what is it like to cook in space? So we do have a variety of different kinds of food aboard the International Space Station. And the one thing that all the food has in common is that it has to be shelf stable. So we don't have a very big refrigerator to keep food in that's fresh. And we get cargo resupply every couple of months. So the food has to stay um, edible uh, through all of that time. So we have different types of ways of preparing food. We have this food that's been heat treated to be shelf stable and comes in these pouches. It's kind of like canned food. So it's food that's still wet and has a sauce with it. Um, but it is, doesn't need to be refrigerated. Then we have other kinds of food that has been dehydrated. Um, it has all the moisture taken out of it and we have to add that moisture back into it when we're going to eat it. And then we have other kinds of food that, um, snack food mainly, that's just something you would eat kind of right off the shelf that you might get at the grocery store. Something like this dried fruit or these nuts or even some cookies. So I brought a sampling of different kinds of food to show you. Um, this is uh, breakfast food over here. This is actually cereal in this packet and I'll show you what that looks like. So these are dried, uh, these are regular flakes of cereal with some dried milk in there. And then we add water in through this nozzle um, and the amount of water is written on the pouch. And then you wait about five minutes for that powdered milk to um, rehydrate and then you can eat some cereal. I also like to have uh, fruit in the morning with my breakfast. And so these are um, dried strawberries that you see here. So you can see the nice red color of the strawberries. And so we would add some water in there to uh, rehydrate those strawberries. There's a little tiny bit of sugar to make them a little bit sweet, which is nice. Um, we also, for breakfast, I might have a couscous with nuts, which is a really nice food with different textures. It's got nuts and dried fruit in there as well. Sometimes I'll have oatmeal or even some eggs. This is what the uh, dehydrated eggs looks like right there. So you can take a look at that. And the way we prepare the foods, as I mentioned, is if it's a already shelf stable food in one of these pouches, already hydrated food, then it would just go into the warming oven. You can see we have a bunch of food. We're getting ready for dinner up here. So we have a bunch of food in the oven already. And that oven will warm things up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a nice temperature for food that's already been cooked. We don't actually cook food up here. It's already been prepared by our food team on the ground and then created in these different pouches for us to enjoy. Um, and then the rehydratable foods, we can go ahead and rehydrate something for you to see. We'll do the strawberries. This is our rehydration station right here. And so we just put this on the needle there and then dial up the amount of water that goes into the pouch. And then you can choose hot or ambient. In this case, I'll choose ambient water. And then once that's in there, I'm gonna move that around just a little bit. You can see the water going into all the parts of the pouch. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge because I like to have my strawberries cold. And this is our little fridge here. The other thing of course that we have is drinks. So we have, you can just drink plain water out of one of these pouches or sometimes we, um, you might want some juice. This one is grapefruit juice. So we add uh, water to this as well. Um, one of my favorite treats that I have up here is I have chocolate milk and the way I do that is there's cocoa mix basically. So it's milk powder and cocoa mix in here. And then I add hot water to this and then I let it cool off a little bit and then I put it in the fridge so I can enjoy some nice cold chocolate milk after I do my run every day. So is there a designated chef on board or do you all take turns cooking for each other? Well, the way we prepare food is basically by heating it up or rehydrating it. So we don't designate any one person to do that on board. Everyone can kind of take care of their own food. But when we are really busy, so for example, someone might have a project on a given day that takes many hours that keeps them very busy. And one of the other crew members to be kind will ask, you know, hey, what would you like for lunch? Let me fix your lunch for you. And that means they'll come and rehydrate your food or put it into the warming oven, make you a nice drink. And so that's all ready for you when you finally have a break from your work to go and eat. So I wanna know, what do meals look like on an average day? So one of my favorite meals, um, of course, is breakfast. We talked about breakfast already. I also like to have things that are familiar that, are, um, that I remember from having at home. So one of the things that I'll have for dinner is chicken fajita. And that's what these pouches over here are. So the chicken fajita comes in one of the pouches and then I like to add black beans. And the one thing that we have at almost every meal is tortillas because we don't have plates, of course. Um, and the, what, the best way to mix up your food is to put it in a tortilla. 
So um, we have these tortillas come two to a packet like this, and you can also warm them up, which makes them nice and tasty as well. Um, and that's a great way to enjoy something that's a little bit familiar. Um, we also put things in a tortilla that you might not otherwise put, but it's a great way to, um, to mix different kinds of food together and it just makes it a little bit easier um, and less messy to eat. How do you store your food and what sort of cooking tools do you use? Well, we don't actually do much cooking up here, so it's basically just eating out of the different pouches. So the most important tool that you have is actually your scissors. Oh, you wow. Use your scissors to open all of the different pouches that you'll be eating out of. And then of course your spoon. You don't wanna lose track of your spoon. Everybody's spoon looks kind of the same, so you need to remember where you put it and keep track of it. And I use the spoon, I'll take food obviously and eat it directly out of the pouch. And then I'll also use it to put spoon foods, uh, different kinds of foods into one tortilla so that I can mix up some of those flavors and textures. So Megan, any tips on eating super messy foods like, I don't know, a sloppy joe? So eating messy foods, you wanna be really careful and deliberate when you're eating messy foods. So once you've cut open the pouch, the food in the pouch will tend to stay together because of the surface tension of the liquid. It'll, it'll tend to clump together and stay together. If you stick your spoon in that pouch and you pull it out really quickly, the little droplets of the sauce are gonna go everywhere. Um, same thing if, when you're eating your um, food in a tortilla, when you bite into it, just like on earth, some of that food is gonna push out the sides of the tortilla. The difference is that food isn't gonna fall to the floor here. It's just, it's gonna come push out of the end of the tortilla. It might just hang on to the end of the tortilla and it might detach from the tortilla. And then it might be a floating food blob, which uh, could be a little bit dangerous for your crewmates. It might you know, hit them in the face or it might hit the ceiling. And then it's something that you have to clean up. So you gotta pay attention. When you're in space, which food from earth do you miss the most? Choosing one food that I miss the most is pretty hard. I love food. I love to prepare food and enjoy food with friends, but um, I miss fresh food, obviously. One thing that I eat every single day is hummus, and I do miss having hummus up here. That's uh, something that I really enjoy. You know, Megan, when I was a kid, I loved going to museums, and my favorite thing from the gift shop, astronaut ice cream. Do you have a snack that you like to take in outer space from Earth? So we don't actually have the astronaut ice cream. It makes a lot of crumbs, if you remember when you tried it as a kid. Um, and so that kind of makes a mess. Crumbs will go everywhere. We tend to avoid foods that make a lot of crumbs. But absolutely, you know, we do crave favorite foods from home. And um, some of the things that I was able to bring with me are my favorite kind of peanut butter and some of my favorite chocolate bars. So it's fun to enjoy those. And some, uh, my husband and my son will send up some of my favorite candies. And then that's fun that we can um, have the same thing that they have on the ground that I have in Space. So I'm dying to know, Megan, are you the best cook in space? <laughs> There's no way I could claim to be the best cook at NASA. I think engineers, surprisingly, engineers really like to cook a lot. I don't know if it's because recipes are like checklists or what, but I know a lot of great cooks in the astronaut office and across NASA. I think the only thing that I can claim is probably I'm the person in space right now that enjoys cooking the most. Okay, so if America's Test Kitchen came out with a cookbook for space travel, what tips would you have for cooking in space? Well, one of the things that I really enjoy about food is the different flavors and the different textures and even the different colors. It's something that you can tend to take for granted a little bit when you have access to all of those different things. And so I would suggest creating meals that have that combination of different textures uh, and flavors in the one dish. Um, it can be a little bit challenging to miss, mix, say, a pouch of rice with a pouch of beans with a pouch of meat. And so having those things mixed together in one dish is really helpful. And then keeping some of those aromas that are really special and also, again, the colors really makes the food appealing. And that's really important when you're on a long duration space mission. Megan, I just got to say, it is so cool to talk to you in space. Safe travels and we'll see you back on Earth.